Hi, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to make a collage in Photoshop. The first thing we want to do is use our web browser to locate and save some images. So I'm going to open up Safari, go to google.com, and in Google I'm going to search for Oval Office. I'm thinking about making an image about the Oval Office, and now I'm going to click the Images tab. Oops. right over here. And when I see an image I like, I'm going to click on it. So I'll click an image, right? And then I'm going to click View Image over here. Click View Image right over here. That opens the image up by itself in the web browser. The next thing you want to do is click and drag the image from the web browser to the desktop. So click and drag it over onto the desktop. You'll see the picture sort of hover out there. Give it a second to um, generate a file over there. And you can repeat that with anything else you think should be in your picture. So maybe I'll make crying. I'm thinking about getting a whole person, so maybe I'll say standing, crying, standing. Oh, here's whole people. So I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, pick out maybe this picture right here. And I view that image. I'm just going to click and drag this over here. So now I have two pictures to um, collage together. You can do this for as many pictures as you like. The next step is I'm going to go to Photoshop and make a new document that's 8.5 by 11 inches. So I'm going to click on Photoshop, go to File, New, right, so File, New, and here I'm going to type 11 for the width and 8.5 8 for the height and click OK. So here's the width, I'm do 11, height, 8.5, then I'm going to click OK. That will create my document. There's my Photoshop document. So now I'm going to add the images to my Photoshop document by dragging them from the desktop, which is where they are right now. So I'm just going to click and drag the Oval Office into here, and it'll create a layer. It's now a layer right here. I'm going to press a, uh, return on my keyboard um, to confirm that I'd like to place that layer. And I'm going to do that again with my crying person here. seemed to get a little funky the first time, but I sort of clicked and waited for it to finish up and um, tried it again. So now I have, uh, I'm going to press either enter on my keyboard or click this checkbox to commit my um, placement of that layer. I'm going to use the move tool with my auto select group and my show transform controls um, checked so that I can use the move tool to move by clicking and dragging on the layer and resize by clicking and dragging on a layer handle. So I'm going to go ahead maybe resize this kid to be on the couch over here. Move and resize the kid to be on the couch over there. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to remove the excess image around the child, this whole rectangle. We don't want in our picture, actually. We just want the kid crouching there. Um, 
I'm going to remove that by rendering it transparent by creating a layer mask on this layer of the little child. The way you create a layer mask is you click this button right here, Add Layer Mask. Click that one time. This is the layer mask. Now I'm going to use my brush tool. Right. I'm going to make sure I'm using black. If I don't have black, I'm going to press X on my keyboard or click right here on this little thing to switch between black and white. On my keyboard, I use the bracket button to make my um, brush larger or smaller, which are the buttons next to letter P on my keyboard. And now I'm going to brush black on my layer mask to render areas transparent. So here I'm brushing black, and it's rendering part of that layer transparent. And I can zoom in and do this as refined as I want with smaller brushes or something like that. But, you know, you can get pretty good with uh, making it seem like things fit. Uh, if you mess up and brush stuff out that you mean to have in the picture, you could just simply switch your brush to white by clicking on this double-headed arrow here or pressing X on your keyboard until white is the front square here, and then just brush back again. And I brush black again around that. That's it. Save your work, go to File, Save As, and save it as a Photoshop document called Collage. And make sure you save it on your work drive, which you can often find by clicking on this reveal arrow and searching down in your devices on the left side. Make sure to click Save. This isn't Lightroom. Okay, that's all.